Hey, so I get asked this question a lot. What would you get? Aluminium frame or a carbon fiber frame? It depends on what kind of ride you're doing, how, how kind of into the sport you are and how much money you got, to be fair. Carbon fiber, yes, it's the daddy, it's the, what everybody wants. It's lightweight, it's strong, it's stiff, it's comfortable, but is it worth the money? A lot of manufacturers like Trek, Cannondale, Specialized, etc., they've been making really high performance aluminium frames. Nothing like you see a few years ago, it's like big stiff lumps of aluminium that beat you up over 20, 30 miles, and you can, you know, super stiff frames, but they just don't give you that comfort, like, like com you know, they don't give you that compliance that you'd, you, you'd expect from, from a high end frame. So, carbon fiber came along. Why is carbon fiber good? Well, it does everything you want a frame to do. It's stiff. It's responsive, it's can have spring in it, and it can be comfortable. So you get like the sportive carbon frames with like the, uh, the curvy, curvy seat stays, curvy chain stays. Um, and the bike is based around comfort. So you have a little bit more flex in there where you want it, but you have stiffness where you want it as well. Then you get your race frame, like this, this Camavale um, Super 6 Evo. Really stiff frame, very lightweight, it's under 700 grams for the frame. Um, other carbon frames, like the Super 6 which came before this one, is a like thousand grams. And then you look at the Canada Cab 10, which is their high-end aluminium frame. It comes at 1,150 grams. And for aluminium, it is splendid. It's rides like you would not believe. Um, to be comparing my Cab 10 to the Super 6, very comparable, very comparable. You, If you're a noob to the sport, if you've not ruined many frames and you jump on a Cab 10, get off it and then jump on this, you honestly will not notice a difference. It's only when you're really pushing out the watts, climbing hills, Get out of the side and you, you feel this bike. This does go a little bit better. I mean, not not you know a thousand pound better, but it does go a little bit better. And I'm in the industry, so I get stuff a lot cheaper. If it wasn't, I'd buy a cat tent and I'd be riding with a smile all the time. I was blown away by that bike when I rode it in Thailand. Two weeks on a bike every day, climbing up hills, doing long distances, everything. It was it was beautiful. I thought after kind of 20, 30 miles, the aluminium might kick in and might start beating me up, but no, it was such a comfortable bike to ride. So. That's one reason why I'd go for go for for you know for cab for aluminium over carbon. It's just nice and comfortable, um, and it's a, it's an affordable price. So if you haven't got a big budget, um, and you want something that's that's you know gonna gonna perform, don't put your money in a cheap carbon fiber frame because there's carbon fiber and there's carbon fiber. Um, the high end stuff tends to be a lot more carbon fiber, and the low end tends to be more resin. So you end up with basically a frame made of plastic with the bits of string in the middle, <laughs> aka carbon fibre, uh, and that's kind of where they cut the cost. So you end up with a really dull, spongy, numb ride that doesn't doesn't fulfil the criteria of that bike, whereas you spend that money on a, on a high-end aluminium frame, like the, the S-Works or the, the high-end, you know, the, the top um, specialised Alley, for example, or the CAD 10, you're going to get a performance that you, you'd expect from, from your bang for your buck. This here, this is Lucy's um, Candle Super 6. This weighed in a thousand grams. This is this is the um, frame that came before the, the Super Six Evo. Great little frame. It's Thailand. Been on the aeroplane. Got bashed about. Uh, then she got hit by a car. A car speeding on his mobile phone. Flipped her in the air. She landed on, the, on her ass in the head. Um, no witnesses. So the guy got got off. You know, got away with it. And he claimed Lucy was in the wrong because she was doing a turn in the road, even though he hit her from behind. So. The jury's out on that one, but anyway, this is her frame. Did it survive? Did it survive that quick tumble? No, it didn't. So you might be able to see on there, there's a big old crack. So that crack goes along the frame, right under here. It also cracked the seat stay in here and here. Um, base that's crack. That crack is caused by the handlebars spinning around and, and colliding with the frame. So, like, something like that. Let's come around and smash in the frame there. Being an aluminium frame, she, I reckon it wouldn't even dinted the frame. But um, some aluminium frames come really thin on the top tube, so she might have had a dent in it worse off. But you know, that's a, that frame is now written off. You might be able to get it repaired by a carbon, carbon fiber repair specialist, but personally, you know, we're going to bin this frame. Uh, kind of do come with a lifetime warranty, but that ain't going to cover you for that because you're hit by a car. Good thing about Cannondale and a lot of the high end brands, they do offer a crash replacement. So if you do have a crash, don't just bend your, your bend your frame and put your hand in your pocket and buy a new one. Contact the manufacturer and say, look, you know, had a crash. Just be honest, tell them what's happened, and they'll listen to you. If you try lying and pulling them, pulling the wool over their eyes, they're gonna know. They see it all the time, so don't don't go down that road. 
Um, but yeah, be reasonable with them, tell them what's happened, and the chances are they'll do you a crash replacement frame. So you'll get a frame at kind of uh, cost price, uh, plus the bat or whatever. Um, that'll see you, see you on the road again. And they'd rather see you on the same brand of bike than going out to, to another brand of bike, for example. So it's worth, worth checking out. So, uh, so yeah, so you've got the, the comfort, you've got the ride qual quality, and obviously you've got the crash quality. I mean, I said before, I'm in this race, so I guess it's a little bit cheaper than most, but um, it is worth bearing in mind if you buy a carbon fiber frame, whether it's cheap or expensive, if you even have a tumble, slip on some ice, some oil, some diesel, whatever, a car hits you, which is going to happen, you got to bear in mind, you've got you to replace that. And if you've only got the one bike, you're off your bike for a long time if you need to pay out for another one. So just think about longevity versus, you know, um, you know, short term, short term gain. So, if you can afford it, and you want, you, if you perform, you know, if you want a performance bike, say you have got your aluminium bike, you have got a bit of money to spend, you know, you love that bike, and you want to get more into it, you want to start racing, doing some club rides and stuff, and um, you become very enthusiastic. But then, yeah, invest in a carbon fiber frame. You will, you will eventually notice the, you know, the difference and uh, and enjoy the difference. I mean, I, I I keep this bike for summer use, so I ride my winter bike all year round, or all year round, or over the winter time. Uh, and then break out the summer bike, the joint's just slightly more aggressive, uh, it's lighter, it's got stiffer wheels, you know, it's just a bit more fun and you get on and you, and you feel like the hard work you've done in winter come through, so, yeah, carbon versus aluminium, if you're on a budget, get aluminium, and like you want longevity, if you've got a lot of money to spend, then look at carbon fibre, just remember, the camera rate. Thanks for watching, post comments and questions down below, uh, please like, share and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.